away and running. Just a tad slow was Brooklyn Girl. There's the speed of Elk Lodge today. Volta Dior came away a joint second, and Gunner Running Gal starts to punch on through. Bella Paloma is behind a trio of speed, and Brooklyn Girl is caught four wide. Around the first turn they go, so Elk Lodge has no breathers today. That leads only a dwindling neck. Gunner Running Gal keeping on his pace up there with about Three quarters of a mile to go, and Volta Tioro backs off the speed to be in third. Bella Paloma has the run of the race and passed by Brooklyn Girl, who is four wide, as they go down the back of the track. So Elk Wads controls the clock, but the lead's only a nose to Gun Running Gal with five furlongs left to go. And still right there, lurking behind them is Volta Tioro in the three path. Brooklyn Girls had a wide trip throughout, and Bella Paloma is right there waiting for this all to unfold with three and a half furlongs to go. Elk Lodge trying to stick and stay off the 437-day layoff. Gun Running Gallus shadowed the speed. Volta the Oro is right there, too. Bella Paloma desperately trying to find a way through, and Brooklyn Girl has dropped away to last. A midpoint of the second turn where Gun Running Gal turning the tables over Elk Lodge, and Bella Paloma is right there trying to press past the speed inside the quarter. Gun Running Gal still with that speed, but Bella Paloma is taking giant strides now. Volta the Oro grudgingly gives way. Brooklyn Girl wide, top of the stretch. And now Bella Paloma sought off the speed and is rolling away at 6-1. to one, And Bella Paloma looked like a winner throughout. Bella Paloma and Carol Cedeno to start off the day a convincing winner over Gun Running Gal who was second and Volta Dioros in a photo for third with Brooklyn Girl. Away and running. Nasty stumble for Kirby soon after the start. Nurse Ratchet is fast off the blocks, but so is Chica Rabiosa, and Helen Ortiz is caught three deep as they go around this paddock grove turn. Kirby stays towards the rail and four wide for the trailer Ravenel. Seven furlongs to go, and the pace is moderate for the level. Nurse Ratchet, with those ears pricked, shows the way by half a length. Chica Rabiosa is right there on hold, a patiently ridden second with three quarters of a mile to go. Helen Ortiz adds a little bit of fuel to the fire in a paceless affair. Second last is Ravenel deep on the course, and Kirby stays protecting the rail position. So to do pick up at the 5 eighths pole and up the inside, it's Nurse Ratchet with that nose in front, but Chica Rabiosa is right there at the four and a half, shadowing her speed. They've left Helen Ortiz with four lengths to find in that third place position, and she's getting a loose rein shaken too. Ravenel has one beaten, and Kirby rides the rail at last at the three and a half. So Nurse Ratchet continues to take that pace tug of war into the far turn with Chica Rabiosa. Helen Ortiz starting to inch closer in a big way now at the 5 16th. Kirby is still second last and Ravenel trails at the quarter pole and here's the first challenge from a three wide Helen Ortiz who battles Chica Rabiosa and Nurse Ratchet's right there at the rail too swinging wide at the back of the pack as Ravenel heads turn for home and Helen Ortiz now kicks away with authority with a two length lead. On the inside Nurse Ratchet is trying to hold second. Kirby is trying to be produced late with Chica Rabiosa, but it's over. At even money, Helen Ortiz has scored the winning blow over Nurse Ratchet, and then came Chica Rabiosa.
away and running. Slow to go with C Image. Good speed today from Lady Lancer. Also right there in the thick of it, too, as you know. And Brooklyn Gurley on debut is flashing good early toe to take the outright lead. Pink Sunset came away in fourth. Quite a gap back to C Image despite a slow start. Maeve already gets a pop of the crop. And Apple Shake shakes at the back of the pack on the circle. Brooklyn Gurley gets the first challenge from you know. And dropping away at the rail is Lady Lancer. And Pink Sunset tries to catch both of the tearaway leaders at the quarter pole. So the top two in the way Adrian Market are the top two to settle the score. Deep on the track is you know. Brooklyn Gurley tries a counter. And these two face off at the 3 16th, where you know now inching away from Brooklyn Gurley, who fights on bravely. A distant third. Apple Shake Shake tries to close into the trifecta with Lady Lancer protecting the rail. But it's over up top. Carol had a two win day, and this came aboard you know. Over Brooklyn Gurley, Apple Shake Shake, and Lady Lancer. Seven at the post. Away and running. Dorothy's the boss had a terrible start. Circle of Courage is quick off the line, but so is Grass Cutter today. And Forty Bug is caught a little wide entering the first of two left turns. Rational Millennial, a little reluctant to load, is a settled fourth, chasing a trio of early speed. Off the inside, Virgil of Equals has two beaten, which is Crimson Lily. And a slow start leaves Dorothy's the boss with a lot of catching up to do. They leave the first turn, and it's Circle of Courage who makes play. Shows the way by a length, tracking deep on the course is 40 Bug, under some pent-up power too. Grass Cutter is right there in a perfect position today, and so is Rational Millennial. Those two team up past the five. Merchal of Equals came away in that fifth place position, still up the inside is Crimson Lily, and Dorothy's the boss is now caught up to the pack. They go down to the half, Circle of Courage and 40 Bug. These two ladies are in step, approaching the three and a half for Long Marker, and Rational Millennial looms a winning threat if good enough up in third. Dorothy's the boss is now past three, which includes Merger of Equals Grass Cutter, and the one who's tailed off at the back is Crimson Lily. Midpoint of the second turn, and Rational Millennial is ready to pounce on these leaders now. Three deep on the course is Rational Millennial. Circle of Courage comes under a ride, so does Forty Bug. Merger of Equals now lands fourth up the fence. Dorothy's the boss, they're homeward bound now, and Rational Millennial with all that mid-track momentum slipping away from the opposite position. Merger of equals down the center. Circle of Courage up the fence with Dorothy's the boss and 40 bug. But inside the concluding stages at 2-1, to one, Rational Millennial has pulled away to win. Circle of Courage second. Merger of equals third. Dorothy's the boss was fourth. Away and running. 
Good speed, two from the inside for Astros the Oro today, but Quick at West will keep her company in the early mix. I Love You is a patiently read in third, and Starry Hope is last of the four at the seven and a half for a long point. So Astros the Oro is off the inside, and I Love You tries to squeeze on through a tight spot and is up against the rail. Deep on the course is Cricket West, and Starry Hope only leaves them one length good cover tip the tail as the four of them leave the first turn. Astros the Oro controls the splits today and shows the way three quarters of a length. Right there tracking is Starry Hope two paths off the rail and the rail still belongs to I Love You who has all kinds of space up the inside and here comes I Love You at the 5 8 pole to take the challenge to Astros the Oro who still has a nose in front. Starry Hope came away in that third place position and Cricket West is now two lengths down off the speed as they go past the half. I Love You off of the lengthy 340 day layoff now has those fluorescent blinkers in front. Astros the Oro is going to try to kick again in second. Starry Hope is right there too, only two lengths down from the speed, which is I Love You. And Cricket West has dropped to the tail midpoint of the second turn. Axel takes a look back and I Love You has now spaced the rest. Astros the Oro is going to try to hold on to second. Starry Hope is five lengths down off the speed and Cricket West silently dropped away as they turn for home. I Love You is now starting to make short work of the opposition here, and if you back the three and you're on track, go to the windows. You'll be the first in line. I Love You at odds of 9 to 5 just cantering in. I Love You layoff was no problem whatsoever. Cricket West will get up for second. Starry Hope on the outsides in the photo with Astros Doro for third. Away and running. Good speed one from the outside from Bazoo, who breaks right on cue, but Shanghai Superfly is tapped for speed, and so is the Sakari, those three floret in the opening furlong. A distant fourth is Mondays with Mike, and Litigants on hold at the back of the pack. Four and a half furlongs to go, and Bazoo's the leader, and that leads a long extended neck. Shanghai Superfly counters, and so does the Zakari, and now three of them stretch across the course at the three and a half. Still a massive divide back to Mondays with Mike and Litigan passes that one. A three prong battle ensues as they turn left. Far outside, Bazoo. The Sakari's in the middle. And Shanghai Superfly gets a reminder to stay with the speed. These three go at it toe to toe with a quarter to go. The Sakari has momentum on the inside, but Bazoo is right there with an in for the fight as well. Heads turn for home, and Bazoo has a flared nostril in front. The Sakari's making that one work hard for every single yard. And now the Sakari inching away from the opposition at the final 70 yards. The Sakari pulling away at 5-2. to two. The Sakari has scored over Bazoo. Then came Shanghai Superfly.
away and running. Good speed on the inside for two a set today. Systemic risk also breaks with plenty of dash. There's the speed of shine like a diamond and insightful is right there too as these charge down the back of the track. Those are the first four on set lane down. In the opening half for long coming away in that fifth place position as they track around the turn includes my Cajun lady. Far turn run, three-eighths of a mile to go, deep on the track, shine like a diamond. The rail belongs to Insightful, three wide is Systemic Risk. Then comes Flirtatious Lass, who's closing into it. Tua Set slowly drops away in front of My Cajun Lady and Truly Ambitious, and they turn for the money. Shine like a diamond has kicked the way to an authoritative one-length lead. On the rail, Insightful has no more to give. Flirtatious Lass is being produced in a big way. Systemic Risk is right there, too, inside the final hundred yards shine like a diamond has a winning break now with 70 yards left to go shine like a diamond has won it over systemic risk flirtatious last and then came insightful Away and running. Great speed today from Zipper Sapper. There goes Kid You Not, and the pace is keen early. Story Fella was a hustled away third. The pace is hot on a sizzling day. And Salty Air's four deep, and Singlingo is five wide as the dust settles. So it's a four pronged attack up top, while Call Me Maestro came away in sixth. Icy Minister has one beaten, and Power's been relegated to the tail. Three of them do battle midpoint of the first turn. Kid You Not comes away with the lead, and the lead's only half a length. Sing Lingo is right there, keeping the pressure turned up to high. And Zipper Sapper back off the speed to be in that third place position. There's a gap of three back to Salty Air who travels all by himself in fourth. Story Fella continues to be on hold in that fifth place position. There's three more lanes back to Call Me Maestro than Icy Minister and Power still is that long looking last. Four furlongs out from the winning line and Kid You Not continues to carve out the clock. The lead's a length and a half. Sipper Zapper is poised to take that runner on to that second place position and also in the thick of it too Salty Air is closing in with good energy. Storied Fella rides that rail but needs to do better and trying to close in from the back of the pack is Icy Minister and Call Me Maestro. Here's the quarter pole and Zipper Zapper tries to inhale the leader Kid You Not at the top of the stretch. Kid You Not is nursing a three quarter of a length lead. Zipper Zapper confronts this rival at the top of the stretch. A distant third is Salty Air running on for a sheer latest Call Me Maestro there into the stretch. Kid You Not wagging and weaving all over the place but still has a neck lead. Zipper Zapper unwavering in second but could not get past the stubborn speed that belonged to Kid You Not. To beat Zipper Zapper then Salty Air fourth place photo between Storied Fella and Icy Minister.